say getting on? Sorry, I just knocked my line up. <laughs> Sorry. Some of you could be going bowling, right? Or think that you're going bowling, like Skittles. <laughs> I've just knocked my line up. <laughs> you just sank my battleship. Some of you could be playing games of battleship. <laughs> Are you battling with anyone, Aries? How did your... Um, did you lot ever get out of that um, witchcraft stuff? I notice a lot of you still comment on that. So I've got no fucking idea what was going on with you lot, but yeah, that was some heavy stuff, right? Um, I don't know if you ever did watch your um, the Vimeo version of the numbering that ended up appearing. So that was, yeah, that was a bit strange, <laughs> right? People are strange though. Jim actually was right. People really are fucking strange. <laughs> So Aries, I hope you're all right. Thank you so much for all your comments and all that kind of stuff. Um, so we're going to change things up a little bit, but I will explain as we go forward. Um, so you've got the moon underneath here, the moon I hide, within the moon I hide. So some of you could be doing moon magic. Now I've noticed within a lot of signs, there's a lot of pheromonal kind of energy going around, a lot of sexual kind of pheromonal weird stuff going on. Um, but you do have the moon. So this card generally to me is Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces and it really doesn't matter. Okay, it really doesn't. But there's stuff that's hidden. Now these are suppressed feelings. It depends how suppressed or depressed someone can be and what they will do when they are so depressed or blocked out. When they're so guarded or so blocked out, fuck knows what happens. And any tarot card reader can tell you, oh, it's the moon, they're hiding some feelings. from." Fuck knows. Listen, Real life situations, people can be controlling or manipulative. So I can't tell you either way just by reading a card your actual life situation of how bad or how good things can really be. But I'll do my best, Aries, right? Because you do have someone that's hiding something very much, right? Now, this can be a lot of aggression and a lot of blame. It can be. Now, the feeling around it can be a lot to do with codependency around money and power and greed right money power and greed where i want it all i want it all i want it now but this can be a lot to do with like i want to be seen i want to be seen because it's not seen you know as a reflection of this card when someone could possibly where you might think fuck you've lost your mind <laughs> right moon sign can be but you've lost your mind right now, it can mean that because you're not telling me or showing me, my karma is that bad and there's such a strong pull of desire that I need to show you. I need, you need to see me. I need the truth. You need to tell me the truth or I need to find the truth. It's, a, it's on a search. The moon is always on a search for something that you can't see. That's why it's hidden from you. That's why it takes time. That's why it relates to the intuition and it can relate to Pisces, but generally water signs. But there is something that is hidden. And if you're still on search for something, right? Because there is. There's an Aquarian energy too. And you've got a Leo energy. And a judgment call. But <clears throat> if you're still on search for that answer. So it might have something to do with maybe Virgo energy I'm feeling. Some people. Uh, might be moon sign Virgo possibly. Or water sign uh, moon sign. But or any. any it doesn't matter. Um. But if you're still on search for that answer, it depends on how long you've been searching for. The proof, right, is in the rising. So the proof is always in the pudding. So as I've picked up, this could be a Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio rising, maybe, right, or the pudding. So it doesn't matter. But it's always in, the proof is always shown to you the situation that you're in, basically. So if you've been in a situation and it's proved to be very dynamic, and there's been loads hidden from you, but you're still on search for that answer of like needing and wanting an apology or needing and wanting something from somebody that persists to do the same thing as it's proven to be, then you're still on search and you're doing it to yourself. You know, you will do it literally for and to yourself and you will put yourself through great harm and pain. Because if it's proved to be very manipulative and controlling and holding back thoughts and feelings, that is like an entrapping feeling where it will keep your soul feeling like a yearning feeling where well, I need an apology. I need you to tell me if you've been seeing someone. I need you to tell me your feelings for me. Trust me, I went through my first karmic situation for seven fucking years and it was never revealed to me, never spoken by the person. Okay, And that related a lot to 
cerebral narcissism. But for all I know, I was in that much illusion that it might have just been me that was keeping that going. It was only me that decided to drop it, that thought, fuck it, I've been doing this for seven years. You know what, Nick? Fuck it, keep it. You know, I don't. I didn't need the truth. It put me on my spiritual path and it led me to my seven, right? Which was my life path of illusion. So it led me to where I'm supposed to be for a karmic situation. We have, well, we have karma fucking left, right, center, and God knows where within soul groups of people and energy. Trust me, right? But we do have uh, Pisces, um, Neptune retrograde, and it's going. It's happening until August third, I think, around August time. But we also have um, Mercury retrograde. So there's going to be a lot of reflection and a lot of people that might be going through some confusion and illusion of still searching for answers. So it really depends on what your soul has signed as an illusion. Time, you are more of an illusion than what time is. Okay, And I've said this through the Pisces reading and a few others before. Everybody will always say to you that you might see through tarot card readings where they say, well, time's metaphysics and it's an illusion. Yeah, it is. Sure, of course it is, because you can't see it, right? But you are more of an illusion because your soul has come here for an experience of time. So when you say that, well, your number's up, your number's up, well, pretty much you could add all your numbers of your uh, DNA system of the matrix together. It would probably tell you when you're going to die, right? Or for a life expectancy. Fuck knows. But, <laughs> but generally, right... When your number's up, your number's up. Your experience is up. Your soul growth is up. Yeah, You've reached a point of call of to the end destination where you'll just do it again. You'll never ascend to the highest vibration. You'll always just start back at a low vibration to a high vibration like we would in indicative of a time zone that we're in where we would experience like uh, temperance. So you might be to do with the Sagittarian energy. Okay. Now, temperance would always show you high and low vibration of even like, your pulse. Okay, and having headaches and things like that. Okay, like um, overexertion and straining. Still straining to find the truth of something that always proved to be itself. So you're more of an illusion by putting yourself through that amount of time where you realize that you're more of an illusion because you end up feeling like you are. Your soul is just here for an experience of a spiritual connection to somebody. But sometimes in life, we can continue to do that ourselves by wanting, needing, and yearning. And what we're not really realizing is that it's actually you that's codependent on keep trying and searching and wanting for the answer when you can't drop it yourself. Law of attraction will always state that you attract yourself to a substance that will keep doing it for a very long time. You walk into them because you're supposed to, because your soul needs reflecting on something of a wounding that is suppressed that you can't see, which is past life karma past life karma you'll never be able to see it and you'll never really be able to connect with what you was fully in a past life unless you're really extremely gifted and clairvoyant where you can try to tap into certain things through that but that will still only come through through the akashic records of how many times it starts to come through in dribs and draps okay and then that will start to tell you but even then you can be an illusion by keep wanting and needing you know so you are more of an illusion because seven is everybody's path, everybody's, because it relates to the tower of death and rebirth, and, re and so it can mean Scorpio. Death and rebirth, the tower, is always about rebirth, okay, so Scorpio rising maybe, okay, but who knows, Any, anybody can have anything, and you can have it all through your Vedic chart or your birth chart, and they can have it in theirs, and you probably won't even know, and they do and they don't, and it really doesn't matter, because you'll have star signs all up in your shit. Right, so let's go, Aries. So, so you've got now more of a Leo energy to me, but it doesn't matter. Now, these can be friends and families and court situations that are all up in your business, right? The King of Wands, it's a fire sign to me, it's normally Leo, but what does it represent to me? It, rem it remains as desire, sexual desire, and sexual healing and sexual feeling. Somebody that can be mm, sniffing you out as a good opportunity for something that they can. Well, like it can be an entrapping energy of like um, like holding on to resentment and blame. So it can relate to a, um, if you. I mean, if you're saying, "Listen, that fucking Leo," and that's that Leo, then that's the Leo, right? If you say, "Fuck no, that's Sagittarius," that's Sagittarius. You didn't say Sag, then it's a Sagittarius. You know. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not blaming you. It's just I do get sometimes in my comments and people are saying you didn't say, you know. <laughs> But this would be someone that would like carry a lot of blame. They would hold on to it and suppress it and feel it. And they would hold on to that sexual desire and to keep yearning and keep feeling like I need you to just fucking see me. 
I need you to, <laughs> someone might be sending you a dick pic or a mick pic, who knows, right? <laughs> who knows? But generally, I need you to see me. I need you to see me. I need you to see my wand. I need you to see what I can do, right? Some of you, it might, it might even relate to sexual magic, right? Magic, can do, still. If it's still there, then it's a sexual desire of magic, right? It'd be a, it would be a pheromonal feeling that could be created what someone could be doing through moon magic, even. It might not even be bad stuff. It might even just mean good stuff, where someone is doing things on bits of paper or God knows what else through the moon, right? Who knows? I don't do that myself, but some people do. And that is what you can also learn to manifest through natural desire, right? Through natural desire. Because you don't want to be f pulling people falsely from... Who knows? Right, anyway, let's go. So, you've got six of cups. So it could be someone that you have actual children with. So this is a desire to actually be with your soulmate, right? To be with the person that created your children. You'll never be able to forget them if you've got children with them. So you might still be like, oh, that's my soulmate because... And we can do. When you're in decadent with soulmates that you actually have children with, you will never forget their past and you will never actually forget them. So sometimes people can be jealous and stuff like that because other people are involved or whatnot. But you'll never be able to forget the person that you've got children with, no matter who, who tells you what or tarot card read or anything. If you've got children with them, you've got children with them. But that doesn't necessarily mean if you don't want to that you have to be with them, right? But if you are in that kind of thing, then that will just be, we'll see. But um, this is a sexual desire to be with um, your soulmate again. Now, there's going to be a hell of a lot of reflection through this because you've got the moon and things that are hidden from the soulmate, right? So it might mean that you or they are hiding something from you or them. It could have a lot to do with finances and money where someone does something to have, they have to keep doing this thing of whatever it is to build up their family life and support themselves. Uh, I mean, generally, you've got a lot of good cards under there. Um, it's like a sexual desire, you know, the, the king of wands. But you have a conflicting energy now that comes in of the nine of pentacles of like, well, I'm single from this. So because this is a lesson of codependency and it's a lesson that's well learned, this is a, an energy where, say if it is a Capricorn, Capricorn, it would be a Capricorn that would be more indicadent with, well, I just want money. I'm just interested in my money and I'm single, but I'm also mingling, meaning that I'm single and I'm independent, but I'm still horny as fuck, right? Or something. Or like I'm seeking out a good partner for me that can support me financially. I have children, but I have a sexual desire. But if it's more to do with Virgo energy, Virgo energy, this would be more of like I'm independent from that, right? Because it would be mutable, meaning still on search for an answer. So that's why I'm coming up with that. If that's a Virgo energy, that can be an energy of where the nine is a nine, but it's still on search for the one, right? The nine, the ten, the ten of pentacles, which you do actually have underneath here, right? So that could be a Virgo energy. So if that is a Virgo energy, the lesson there is learned about um, being independent from the energy altogether because the Virgo energy is more concerned now about on the search for something else something more right something more there needs to be something more the Capricorn energy would be more on on search of staying like more money there, there would needs to be more money there needs to be more stability within this relationship and there needs to be more stability in what you've got to offer me right if it's a Taurian energy <laughs> If it's a Taurian energy, it would be more of a, well, I just want to be fucking single. <laughs> I just want to be fucking single, and I just want to be ready to mingle with uh, probably a few people, maybe, right? Maybe. And that can be a baby for some people, right? Maybe baby. Well, maybe there may be a baby. Who knows up in this? <laughs> Who knows? Who knows, Joe? There may be a baby up in this thing. Well, definitely, if you're red, single, ready to mingle, and you're mingling, but you're hiding other people, maybe, or you're hiding and suppressing feelings. That can be a Taurian energy. There could definitely be a Taurian energy, I'm feeling. Definitely through that Four of Pentacles. Uh, 13, which is four. So it goes back to that. 
which goes back to that again. So these two these two cards here represent this one card again here, which means I want fucking everything. <laughs> well, I want everything. I want a mick pick, a dick pick, your money, <laughs> your fame, your fortune, and I'm just going to keep searching until I get more, more, more. More, more, more. But I want more, more, more. Could be involving an Aquarian energy. Someone needs to make a judgment call on this. It's a lot to do with internet, businesses, and travel for a lot of people. Um, and like like um, karmic situations that need um, closure on. So then you go straight away to a counterpart. Queen of Wands. And trust me, <laughs> I've seen your reading here. <laughs> and you'll be quite amazed, I would say, because I'm going to have trouble reading it all. Fucking hell. So you've got the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands. Now, represent whether you've got any of these energies in your system or not, this is more to me of optimism. So it would relate more to Sagittarius. This would relate to more of passion and sex and, and fixed in that way, which would royally uh, resent to me of Leo, right? And you've got Leo there. And I know a lot of you in the comments were indignant with a Leo. So you've got a lot of player energy, and I'm not going to lie to you. Now, whether this is you and you're, and you're single and you're like, fuck it, bruv, I'm just out ready to mingle and you're single, that's great. If you're still connected with someone else and you're like, well, I've got you and you and you, that would literally be your own karma. And I could not persuade you to do or don't. That's definitely down to anybody else. I always believe that you have one path and you have to be co in, codependent. Fuck no. <laughs> you have to be independent from being codependent in order to attract in like of like. So you have to give over your power power because it could it could be a lot of power money plays and power so you have to give over your power to the universe of saturn 100 percent. you have to bow down to not people that make you bow down to them of wanting their attention if you're an attention seeker attention seeker well then you'll get more fucking attention than what you'll know you know if you drive a ten thousand pound car you're going to have people that are going to want to steal it from you right they're going to want to take it from you so some people might say, listen, if you look a million dollars, you will attract a million dollars. You fucking will do as well. You know, you will. But who knows what someone that has a million dollars is really worth inside. Their exterior might mean that they look like a million dollars, but interior, they might not be, right? So it relates to self-worth and value and respect for yourself of a lesson of that. It can be for some people, right? Because it, it, because we're all, we've got to get out of all this stuff ego and it's eccentrism and stuff because so, you've got a lot of ego power plays eccentric kind of feeling right now that's a lot to do with what you are is what you attract right now through this being independent you have to be independent of one person because if you're not and you're in denial you will be codependent and you will attract in a lot of attention right now if you're really wanting that well, that's okay, you know, that's okay, but it's kind of giving off a, a, um, a pheromonal energy of a player, right, a player. So, you know, mm, because this is like back to back, right, meaning like I need you to see me, I just need to keep doing this until you see me, until you see my worth, this is why I'm picking it up, Aries, I'm sorry, but it's more of a, like, I need, like, a need and a want for some people. Like, I need you to see my worth. I, and I'm going to keep fucking searching for this 1% until you f see it. Until you see my value of me and my children, well, then I'm just going to keep doing the same thing until you learn, you know? For some people. The King and the Queen of Wands is a counterpart reaction of a counter reaction. That's all it is. It doesn't mean, wow, this is my life partner. It really doesn't, right? It means that you're indignant with a soulmate, sure, as a vibration of both of you, of a codependency of trying to outdo one another of sexual desire and optimism. Optimism and pe pe uh, pessimism. Being optimistic, but being pessimistic about the future, um, about being single, but still like... Um, a very confusing energy <laughs> I gotta tell you that so you go to the nine of Pentacles straight to the six 15 which is six again you've got a lot of reflection again it goes back here to the six it makes the six again 
so with this energy, because that 10 can be an ending or a beginning, the 10 of pentacles. So because of that and that making this here, it can relate a lot to Taurian energy too, but the Virgo energy would be more like, I want to be single and independent from it. And I'm on search for my one, my actual soulmate here, right? My actual soulmate. So I'm in search and on, I'm off. I'm single and I'm independent and I'm in search for my, um, for my one. Because it goes in search for like an Aquarian Gemini kind of feeling, right? So because of that, that can mean like, well, I just, I'm not prepared to open up to you anymore because you're a player. You are a player. And that can relate to any of these energies. So someone that's Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus or that was indicative with these energies, if it's a Virgo energy, I think that they're more kind of like, I'm single and independent away from this player energy. And I'm now like on search for my one, right? If it relates to a Taurian energy, they're fucking holding on to everything, to everything. Because then what you've got again is nine, and this this here, independently from this, goes back to this card again here, because you go from the nine to the six again, which can be a need and a want and a yearning of, I need you to fucking give me attention. I need you to give me more attention than anybody else. So I'm still on search for why are you not giving me enough than what you're giving them. Now, if that's to do with money, you've got karma. You've got karma within money with the person that you're indicative with. So it might be family-related kind of stuff, right? So then we'll go on to the family dynamics because you've got a lot of family members also, which would be king of wands, queen of wands, energy of people that are around you that could be just telling you different things, right? So if it's relating to family, where this is their family and you've got children together, there's some kind of power play that's going on within their family also, where they're trying to restrict how much is given, or this is your partner that's trying to restrict how much money they're actually giving you than anybody else. Because you've got somebody, with, regardless, that could be holding back. Holding back. That's stubborn, that will not release things. You've got a lot of sun, moon and rising people that might be cross-watching. Um... <clears throat> because this still goes back to this card. Sorry, Aries, bear with me. And that relates to a 10, right? 19. Yeah, 19, which is 10. So then we go to an ending, but a beginning. An ending to a beginning also. So forgive me if I'm... Rem um, you don't need to go with cards. You can manoeuvre them around to pick up a story. This is how I pretty much sort out the matrix, really. Well, for me as a reader. You've got an ending. All of these pentacles end up as a 10, right? So someone does have a lot of greed. Greed, where I fucking need you to see my worth, pretty much. I need you to see what I'm worth. Someone does have a lot of money up in this thing, or a lot of business type. Um, coming off all that. Money is generally really good for you, Aries, at the moment, and it will be this month, is what I'm feeling, because a lot of your cards of numerology is really adding up to, like, um, concentrating on self-worth and value and money, where money is going to be more important. Now, this can be you or your partner. It really can. But somebody is more concerned and interested in searching for their one, which would make that this would be my one, meaning someone that has more wealth, or someone that has more general health and well-being, right? Who's worth more, me or you? Me or you? You do have a lot of codependency, though, I must admit, through this card, because it's a need. It's a need to find power. Like, I need more power. I need, like, hellfire. Someone's trying to raise fucking hellfire. Hellfire and all. You've got, I mean, you've got Leo energy here also showing up. Uh, Internet-based uh, watching and strength. I mean, it's not really picking up a strength to break away from it. It's kind of like someone's pleasuringly doing it. Like, I'm... Someone likes a lot of attention, I must admit. A lot of attention. Because it feeds their ego. Sorry, um, sorry, Aries. And it doesn't have to mean you... I try to get people through their karmic situations. If people are watching tarot card readings, 
it would be fucking no point in me sitting here lying to people and spinning you a yarn of feeding you a pipe dream, right? And a line. But, you know, if you're on search for that much attention, then you've got to be fucking careful on how much attention you're attracting to yourself through energy. Because there's a fucking lot of fire here, and I ain't shitting you. The Queen of Wands, the King of Wands, strength. Like, attention. Attention, like, attention! Someone's, like, fucking regimented up in this thing, is what I'm picking, picking up. Because you've got, like, someone that's, like, single and ready to mingle, but you've got, you've got, like, a lot of, um, like, sex, pretty much. Now, if that's what you want, that's what you're going to get, pretty much. Because you could end up going to the clinic, right? So, please get yourselves checked out, or they do. But someone could either work at a clinic, but you might need to go to a drop-in centre, right? A drop-in centre. Could be a Sagittarian energy possible. Or anybody. Any sign. But you've got a lot of fire sign. But this is someone that also works in the public eye. The public eye. The public field. Public service. So if you don't. Because it would be someone that shows like. Like this kind of thing maybe. Or you know. But they use fire and, like, um, sexual desire when they do this kind of thing, I would say. Or they use... They misuse... Someone misuses their power. The Queen of Wands and the King of Wands is such a tricky energy of a counteraction. Because it's like a, a, a reaction, like a, a reaction of, like, fuck you, make me, like, oh. <laughs> you know? So you've got to be careful on people that are fucking watching you as well of whatever you're doing I mean if you're doing things generally at work and you're very passionate about it this is great energy because you're very fire and passionate about it but all I'm saying is at this particular point and be careful on who's watching you because this is like watching kind of energy like eyeing you out for a partner Or, the, or they're eyeing someone up for a partner. This guy here, the King of Wands, is more of a... Uh, doesn't matter the sign. Take the sign out. Card is more of a player interiated predatorial energy, right? And it is looking this way. And the Queen of Wands is more optimism and looking more towards the future. Out of this way. Meaning, still this kind of energy. Still this kind of energy. I need more money from you. Well, I need more attention from you. Well, I have children with you. Okay, well, I want sex. You're, I've got children with you, but I'm single. So you might as well come round and we'll have a night out or night in. Who cares? But either way, I need you to give me support for, my, for our kids. But whilst you're here, let's get, have at it. <laughs> let's have at it while we're at it. Well, while we're at it, while you're around for a fucking bottle of champers and a bottle of Lambrini, <laughs> right, at the fridge, let's, ru let's run you a bath with some rose petals and stick you in a bath and, like, spin you a yarn, <laughs> but if that's what you're into, that's what you're into, but they could be putting an apple and, like, putting, <laughs> oh my god, what am I seeing through this, god knows, like, someone probably wants to put an apple in your mouth and, like, <laughs> pepper you up like give you a line or something some of you could be into like whoa medication like taking like probably dropping too many pills maybe so be careful of that one because there's a lot of like I'm feeling through the king of wands and the queen of wands energy but the the lesson is still about that what you are is what you're going to attract in. If you're single, but you're not single, and you are with someone else, whoever that is, that will still be karma, right? That will still be karma, because what it will do is it will attract itself to you. To you, it will come back to you, right? So which will be your karma, which will mean that you will start to suppress feelings in the end, meaning that you will be stuck with them. Because they will attract themselves to you with law of attraction. So you will end up with blame and being blocked from them. 
you know meaning like they might come for a one night stand or something and offer you like a good night out with some champers and stuff or whatever but then pretty much that they could piss off and just like hold you accountable for your action and counter reaction accountable for your actions so be accountable you know make sure that you're accountable for what it is that you're manifesting be accountable for your action and counter reaction and responses of whatever the hell it is that you've got going on in your life aries <laughs> because trust me what goes on here you will probably want to watch your monthly <laughs> over on where i'm going to carry it over over on patreon i do appreciate everybody's uh, patronage that has come over there it's still very cheap this month so grab it while you can it's going once it's going twice <laughs> But you can watch everything over there and all the weeklies, bi-weeklies and monthlies and everything also still that will go into your first tier. For this last month, it will go into the first tier. And that will be your bi-weeklies and lessons that I'm going to start doing also with other cards that I'm really going to start bringing into, into play. But it will still be over on Vimeo. Now, if you want to just watch it, it's in your monthly. Okay, Not the bi-weekly, but the monthly. And it will be there if you just want to watch this reading. But there is still that option over on Patreon where you can join and you can watch what you fucking like as many times as you like and whatever you want to do. You can just go wild. You can just go wild. You can have a fire sale. Someone's going to have a fire sale. Like, fuck it. Everything's got to go. Everything, everything out. It's got to go. I just want to be single. For some people, it's all got to go. Quick, get it out. Someone's like selling merchandise or selling stuff. Someone's a dealer. Someone's a dealer. Quick, bruv. <laughs> Quick, bruv. <laughs> Quick, bruv, get it out. Someone was cooking up some shit in a bath. Like, some, uh, what do you call it? Uh, what was that on the TV? The blue crystal stuff, right? Crystal. Um, uh, God, I forget what that TV show was. It was fucking great, wasn't it? They are in a caravan, weren't they? Selling loads of shit. <laughs> this is probably someone that lives in a caravan, maybe. A uh, camper van, maybe. Well, they was in a camper van. They were selling, like, crystal, weren't they? Someone's like, someone's rocking up. <laughs> someone's going to rock up. Someone's going to rock up at your front door like, all right, bruv, what you got? Here, look. <laughs> Take a look at this. You know, I, I would not. You know, if, you're, if you are suffering from um, that kind of stuff and you've just become clean, you know, please be very careful of that. Please be very careful of that. And this might be you going to search out like for the doctors and things and but please go to the somebody please go to the doctors and get get checked for an STD. I'm really picking that up. I'm really picking that up. But please go to um it might be that you're going to AA and things like this could be AA meetings and stuff, you know, care and support AA meetings or um drug uh what do they call it? Um what well, they call the um, uh, drug drug rehabilitation center or like a rehab rehabilitation center um yeah i'm picking up some more stuff through that we'll have to see as we go on but like i said through that everything is over on the links if you want a reading private reading it's the same for you as a private reading pretty much but you'll just see the whole thing and it will maintain for your circumstance and i will do the spread just the same as this and i'll try to give you all the lessons and all the feelings and everything through through whatever I channel, <laughs> right? And it will just pertain to your circumstance through that monthly period, okay? And if you want one of those, it's in the description under the email. Just send me an email, and this is pretty much the reading, okay? I just need your sun, moon, rising, and a little bit about your story, backlog, but not too much, uh, and we'll go for it. Okay, all right, guys, thanks so much for all your support, Aries. I really hope that you're out of that fucking stuff and what you were going on before, but we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, guys, peace.